everybody. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to another episode of Everyday with V and K. I know I look crazy, but um, I was just chilling with the kids. I'm in the kitchen, in my new kitchen. But um, of course, I'm making some coffee. I came in here, it's a little early, but I wanted to get dinner um, started and stuff. <clears throat> but I wanted to show, sorry if you hear the coffee pot in the TV because the kids is chilling watching TV but I wanted to show you guys this uh, pot it's a um, it's a Chrissy Teigen pot and we have bought a pot set from Target the Chrissy Teigen pot set you guys I'm gonna be honest because it I was stressed out about buying pots and pans and stuff um, mainly because of the price and I mean you have Rachel Ray, you have Cuisinart, uh, what's the, uh, Faberware, Fab whatever, and when you look at their cheaper pot sets, the quality is horrible. It's like the, the, um, the handle, man, I don't know what's wrong with me, yes bro, go eat your fries. The handles are not sturdy, or they or they don't come with the piece. What's going on with you? What's going on? Don't do that. That's not nice. Okay, Noah's acting like a little, like a little nut right now. I don't know what's going on. But the Chrissy Teigen ones, guys, we got the pot set. I believe it was one hundred and forty dollars, and it came with, I think like, three small nonstick skillets. This big one. They all have tops to it. It came with like a rice uh, pan. Look, you cook rice and like little stuff in, hot dogs, whatever. And it also came with the big pot. So if you're doing like noodles, like you know, or if you're cooking a soup or stew. Uh, and it also came with two, uh, I think a spoon and a spatula. It came with this, which is also really, really nice, which I'm probably going to use today. And... It came with something else. Oh, and a spoon. I was right. It came with a spoon. I haven't used a spoon yet, but it's it's wooden. It's sturdy. And I just want to let you guys know, if you are looking for a pot set, the Chrissy Teigen one is great. For the price, for everything that you get, it's very, very sturdy and hardcore. It cooks the food amazing. And um, the only thing that we're really missing is a few cast iron pans and stuff like that. Um, so I told you guys that we were thinking about having a housewarming. So that's stuff that we would have to put on our list. I don't know why. I'm going to be honest, guys. Oh, another thing. Oh, before. Whew, all over the place. I've been doing, I've been doing some grocery shopping here and there. And I, I was like, wait, why am I not filming our grocery hauls for you guys? Um, I know part of it is because me and my mom... We're trying to get like a schedule going for when we can go so the dudes don't have to really worry about that. I don't know why it just got a little brighter in here. That was weird. Oh, my coffee's done too. Using my wifey cup. I love it. But let me know if you guys want to start seeing our grocery hauls because really we're probably going to start on an every week base. Um, but soon... It's probably going to be like either every week or every two weeks. We're going to meet up and go do that or whatever. Uh, so, yeah. Let me um put this over here real quick. But what I was making tonight, I'm just making some tacos. But a real, not like homemade tacos or anything. I have a big pack of ground turkey meat. Which I bought the big pack because I need to call my friend. She loves tacos. So, if I make them and she doesn't know, she's probably going to be upset. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of this Ortega sauce in it and a little bit of this Goya something. I don't even, it's a cooking base. I just throw that a little bit in there for extra flavor. And because it's the big pack, I always use Old El Paso when I'm making quick tacos. Um, I have a mild and two original so it's not too spicy for the kids. And then um, I usually throw some salsa in there too but I forgot to get salsa. And then yesterday, I was in Aldi, and they had the guacamole, 
the singles pack because I usually buy I like I usually make it myself but I'm gonna be honest like I've been a little lazy and it's the single pack but I don't know what this brand is you guys I don't know if you've ever been to um Aldi before but sometimes they have brand names sometimes they don't have whatever but I'm pretty sure I like the single pack because I'm the only one who eats guac and if my friends come over or whatever but I like that it's individually packed now there is I usually get the real brands out of grocery stores but come on it's just uh, avocados jalapenos and whatever so it can't can't really mess up guacamole and then um, I have hard shells for me and Brie Noah eats his taco he just eats the taco meat and then Khalif does the soft shell I do the flour tortilla and then um some the only cheese that I usually buy I don't I don't eat cheese but Brie and Khalif and Noah they love cheese so I get the Sargento nacho and taco they also have the Mexican one but this is just the one that I've seen first I bought this at a shop right so yeah I'm just gonna throw this in the pan and we can chat just give me two seconds to clean this up okay so um I was laughing just now because for some reason, I took my meat out yesterday, and it's still a little frozen in the middle, so I took it out and put it in the refrigerator. But I know we were supposed to bring you guys along when we uh, got our place and to go shopping. Like I told you, we got most of our stuff at Home, Go Home Goods, um, Target, a couple of things from Burlington. We went to Bed Bath & Beyond. But I think me and Kylie were just trying to experience it for ourselves. What's up? What? Okay, um, ooh. so another thing, by the way, this is not sponsored, trust me, <laughs> we're not sponsored, but I also bought the Chrissy Teigen knife set, and my best friend, she's a chef, and she actually approved, because she came over and cut some pineapple for me. But I want to show them to you all. They're very, very sharp and very, very sturdy. I don't know if you can really see that. I know there's a glare here. But they're very, very hardcore. Um, this one cuts bread so nicely, guys. I never know. I never knew that I needed to have, like, a bread knife. Don't. I know it's probably used for other things, too. But I'm not a... Uh, let me know if you guys know what all these knives are for. Um, I just, I think these two are like the same. I don't know. This one's a little bit bigger, but these are the two smallest ones. I'm sorry if you guys can't really see. It's like really, really bright in here. And it's like the middle of the day, but I'll, I'm probably going to get new like lines and stuff to block some of this light. Because I'm probably going to be in the kitchen a lot. The reality of that is. So... What have you all been up to? I figured since I hadn't actually taken you guys along to get all of our stuff, like for the kitchen, bathroom, I figured we could probably just pull it out and show you all. They're watching Boss Baby. <laughs> yeah, you are Boss Baby. Let me tell y'all, we do have cable, but none of us. The only thing that I watched on cable, I watched some of Wendy Williams' show, um, cause Nick Cannon was on there, and I thought that he was pretty funny. I think I watched like two episodes, and then I watched like an episode of The Real. I like watching them or whatever. Yeah, but you can't play with this. This is real. You have kitchen stuff. But the kids have just been watching Netflix. They turn the TV on and it goes straight to Netflix. I'm like. Why are we paying for cable? Money. And there's nothing on Money. TV anyway. Yes. What? Uh, uh, I don't Go put some pants on. Pants? Yes, pants. It's cold. You need pants. Took his pants off earlier. Mm. Alright, thank you. But yeah, I've been feeling extremely tired and overwhelmed. Um, I feel great about moving in and stuff like that, but guys, this whole brief school thing, it's still, I know in my last video, I like, um, 
I talked about it a little bit, but the thing is, in New York, these schools are overflowed. So even though she's zoned to the school right down the street, which is the reason why we moved in this area in the first place, she's technically registered to be in this school, but they have to take her every day to a different school where they have all their overflow of kids. And I'm like, I'm so stressed out about that because she's so little. And it's literally back where it's closer to where we used to live. And I'm just, even though that other school is a good school too. But even though she's going to be sitting in a classroom in that school, she's not in that school. She's still in the school that she's zoned for. It's it's so confusing and it's so stre like whatever. But I'm like, I guess it is what it is. We live in New York and it's literally like that in all the good schools out here. So I'm going to just calm down and relax about that. But me and Khalif have just been trying to chill. He won't sit down anywhere. He goes to work and then he goes to do 50 different things. That's fine. I, I don't know if it fits though, Noah. He wants to wear his Paw Patrol onesie, but he's been getting really, really big lately. But yeah, um, yeah, I can't get him to sit down anywhere. I mean, he'll sit down to play his game and stuff, but I've been trying to get him to take a bath. But he I, he's still on like 10 million. Sorry, babe, if you're watching this, I'm telling on you. But you know. Uh, I'm trying to see. Ooh, I'm so close. I'm trying to see if there's anything to anything else to update you guys on. I mean, we've just been trying to chill. I want to really start getting back into uh, vlogging and stuff. But I told you guys it's gonna start happening slowly. I mean, cause I think for me, I just want to really make sure that the kids are good. They like <laughs> they love it here, but it's still like the different ways like our schedules are still all out of whack and we haven't gotten to a smooth flow yet so yeah but oh man i just received the email from youtube to congratulate us on 500 subscribers which i've still been like talking to you guys on our comments but it i didn't even realize that we hit 500 subscribers and oh my god thank you so much guys like it is freaking amazing to know that 500 of you guys subscribed and took the time out to enjoy us and we just have so much more to come i know we've been a little bit inconsistent but it's going to pick up just please give us some time to adjust to everything and to really get used to all this because like i said it's our first place we've never been on our own it's been easy really but it's been like a little like emotional roller coaster. I've been trying to, uh, I've been hanging out with my parents, but it's just like good to know that they can come over here. I can go over there. We can go and do stuff and it's no stress. And then we come home to our own or whatever. My mom has been, my parents have been so proud of us. So yeah, I love that. It's perfect too. Cause my mother literally works down the street from where we live, which is freaking perfect. But yeah, I missed you guys. I'm going to slowly start jumping back in there. You're probably going to see this sweater a lot because I stole it from Kali and it's so freaking comfortable. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Let us know. Ask us anything you want in the comment section below. And I will see you guys later. Bye.